Well, Dwayne, you know, we want to talk a little bit today about the fundraiser that we've got coming for the Friends Group. You're on our board. Yes. Uh, you've been actively involved with the farm, and on April the 18th, we're doing a little bit different event, I think, this year. Um, traditionally, what we found is what people seem to like are historical figures. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had Charles Dickens, we've had Andrew Montour, we've had General Sherman. You know, we've gone through several different historical figures. Uh, this year we're going a little bit different. It's sort of a fi historical figure and it sort of is, and I think we're looking more at a cultural yeah. aspect this year because we're doing a, a program called Saints Preserve Us, the Irish in America. The reason I want to talk to you a little bit, you were in Ireland with your family last summer. Yeah. And you said, yeah, I'm really excited about this. You know, it looks like it's something we want to do. Kind of share your thoughts. Why would, why would we want to do that? Sure. First, if, if you've not been to one of these events, um, we host them pretty much every year for every several year. years. And um, they're, they're great. I mean, I love history anyways, but to get to see people talk almost in first person is, is very interesting. But um, we went to Ireland, and, and we did it like what, why I have heard why most people do, because a lot of people have Irish descent. Um, descendants in their background and my wife um, discovered that in, in her ancestry that she has that and she became curious her father had spent time over there and also in England looking up some of their past so my wife said let's let's put that on our bucket list and um, beautiful country um, great great people and I tell you they take great pride in um, what they've overcome over the years and the potato famine obviously is a big um, part to that so there are key factors and key people that came out of that, but what we learned by traveling the whole country was um, it, it was the it was the general people, the general population that really is what the story is about. So those people that that struggled over there, whether they survived or whether they they perished, they made it to America thinking this was that opportunity, and then they also faced some some sure. different things as they got here. So it doesn't have to be a, a lead historical character. The story I think that people are going to hear. Is, is going to be very interesting and if you have heritage from Ireland, which a lot of people do, you can start kind of thinking about what, where your background is and what your family went through during that time. And, and, and I had never studied that time period. I really thought it was mostly the famine came and there was the hardship. I didn't realize all the politics that went into um, surrounding all that. So it was very um, enlightening, it was very interesting. And everywhere we went, we just heard about this person or this family yep. or, or you know, this individual. And again, it wasn't anybody that you knew about. You're not gonna read them about, about them in, in historical history books, but it was fascinating nonetheless to, to, to learn about these people's accounts. So. Well, and that's sort of the way we're looking at this. Um, the, the gentleman that's coming does a lot of character actor, mm -hmm. characters. And um, Mike has created this character called Sean O'Shaughnessy and his family. And what the, the premise is, he starts a potato famine in Ireland. And, you know, Sean wants to create a better life for himself. So their family comes to the United States, comes into New York, just like so many of the other people did. And, you know, real, thinking that America is going to be the land of opportunity. And what he discovers, like you were saying, a lot of the Irish did was, yeah, there were lots of opportunities, but the sign on the door said Irish need not apply. Yeah. So New York City was not going to be the place for them to find yeah. their, their, their opportunity. So what Sean does is he, he Mike Folan tells the story of Sean bringing his family to the land of opportunity, which turns out to be Ohio. Yeah. Which was the West at that time. Which, so, which was yeah. the Wild West at that yeah, time. Yeah. And so, you know, you get the highs and lows of all of this, the lows of the potato famine, the anticipation of coming to America, finding the door literally slammed yeah. shut in their face, and then eventually coming to the West. So I think people are going to find that probably very emotional, yeah. uh, but very enjoyable. A little bit about Mike Fallen, who's coming. I've known Mike, oh, since about 1993. And um, he's, he's a great character. He works for the Ohio History Connection in the Interpretive Services Division. Okay. So he does a lot of first person stuff. Uh, he's developed this character through time of doing a lot of research on a lot of diaries uh, and, and writings of the people from the time period. So while it's not a real person, it's, it's sort of a real person and it, it melds all, like you were saying, 
Yeah. All those stories are just the common folks together. And, and collectively, it's a compelling story. And what, what I love about this kind of an event is he'll, he'll be in character. So he'll, he'll portray a person yes. from that time period. He'll interact with us during that. He'll even answer questions as though he is that yeah. character and really reliving that time period. He'll, he'll eventually kind of say, here's who I am and give, give yeah, a real version of who he is. But to be there in the audience and to hear it, you'll get entrapped in the story, just like I did when I was in Ireland and I, and I went to museums and other places over there. You'll literally be drawn into the story and um, you'll, you'll have a better sense of appreciation of that time period and what those people went through. I, I think so. I think yeah. you know, people will get a grasp. They will forget that this is a made-up character. Yeah. And they'll, they'll see Sean O'Shaughnessy from Ireland in front of them. Yeah. How's his accent? Is it? Uh, it's good. It's good. Okay. It, it, yeah. it, it's good. He, he does. He does that very well. Now, is he from Ireland, or does he have a sense? Uh, I don't know or? what his background okay. is. Uh, I don't know what his ethnic background uh -huh. is. Um, but you know, he's he, he's he's a great character actor. He's yeah. got several different historical figures okay. uh, that he portrays. He was here. Oh gosh, several years ago, we did a. Um, we had Charles Dickens on the canal boat one summer. Yeah. And he came that day and he portrayed Dickens' valet Q. Uh -huh. And so he, he was interacting okay. on, on the boat. But that, that goes back, oh golly, that, that goes yeah. back a long time now. Uh, you're right, this is an event we do every year. Uh, we do it uh, typically, it's, it's April 18th. We pick that Thursday. That seems to be a good Thursday yeah. in town. We, we started, we've used Thursday because you know, you get into the weekend and there's so many events on, on, on any given coming. weekend. Yeah. And you know, I, I joked to somebody the other day that you know, doing it April the 18th, that's a good relaxation after you've filled out your taxes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've, you've given Caesar yeah. his due now, so now you can relax a little bit and, 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 and share that story. But Mike will be, a, I think people will, will find it entertaining. And a lot of times I don't know whether people think about the Irish um, tradition here in Piqua. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if it weren't for the Irish, the Irish and German immigrants are the ones that built the canal system. Yeah. And it's the canal that made Miami County, realistically. I, I think an example would be before the canal came to Piqua, there were, if, if memory serves, there were four people making barrels in Piqua. But within a couple of years of the canal coming to Piqua, there were over 70 people wow. making barrels. So you get an idea yeah. of, of what it meant for, the, for, for, the, for what became our city. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know whether people realize, or some people would, but you know, people know we've got two Catholic churches in Pickle, yeah. St. Boniface and St. Mary's. Well, St. Mary's was the Irish church. St. Boniface was the German church. Yeah. And St. Mary's is a, is a couple years older than St. Boniface. St. Mary's, uh, that church was, was established there in 1839. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, you know, they had to have been meeting in somebody's house or another structure someplace. Yeah. And I've, I've been asked sometimes how many, what was the Irish population in Piqua? I really don't know. But for them to have built a parish yeah. had to have been pretty good size. So there's a lot of people in Piqua. Now, didn't Johnson? Did he come from, or is Johnson was Scott Irish? You know, okay. so yeah, that, that's that's his background. Uh, I don't know whether he's more Scott or more Irish. Sure. Um, but um, yeah, so he's he he had that tie. And one of the things that we we've we've seen about Johnson was that he encouraged different faiths to come to Piqua uh -huh. uh, because he knew that if there if there were these variety of faiths, there would be more people to come to town. Yeah. Well, as those people came to town, they needed land to, to, to settle on. And guess who owned about 2,500 acres of land? So, you know, he, he encouraged sure. that. So there was kind of a double-edged sword there. It was, it, it didn't hurt him either. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, this, I, I hope people find this interesting. I, I think it should be really fascinating evening. Yeah. You know, we start at 7.30 at the fourth floor of the hotel. And the reason we start at 7.30 is that gives people time. If they want to make an evening of it, they can go someplace and have some dinner, come in, have an evening uh, yeah. of entertainment, and maybe learn something along I, the line. I, I know from our standpoint, you know, we get off work, and you're right. We'll go get a bite to eat, and then we can just 
let our minds get involved and, and just get lost in the story. And I know traveling over there, we kept hearing so many great, unique stories and things about the time period. We were ordering books on Amazon, you know, so when we got home, they would be there. And, and my wife's read more than I have because I just don't have the time, but we've been really still reading more about it because it's just kind of cap captured us. But what I like about the event is, um, and what I like about what Johnson Farm does, we don't just do, you know, kind of crazy fundraisers. Like we really do stick to historical pieces and the accuracy. And that's why I like the, the, the people that we bring in to tell the stories. And it really is a good fundraiser for our own local history, sure. which is so important to support. So um, you people can come to this event and be very well entertained, educated. Um, they can get lost in the story and also support our own local site, which again, I, I'm a huge proponent. Well, and, and that's something, you know, I hope people, we, you know, we've talked about this a lot of times, but I think it still bears repeating, is, you know, this, for all intents and purposes, this is a local site. So any dollars that we raise stays, stays right, right here. here, right here in town. That sounds like public radio's yeah, fundraiser, yeah. doesn't it? That's going on right now. It's true though. It's... Uh, but yeah, all, all of the money stays here. It doesn't go to Columbus. And, and these dollars that we raise for an event like this go to support the interpretive work we, with, we do with students and, and, the, and the public during the course yeah. of the season. And, and that's, you know, I, we, we kind of like to brag a little bit that we see about 6,000 school kids a year. We're one of the biggest we, we're, sites it, that If we're not kids. the leading yeah. site each year, we're the second and we're right, if, if we're number two, we're right For behind the whole state. number one. Yeah. And there are some really good historical sites yeah. throughout and, the state. And within, within the system in which we operate, there's 59 sites. Yeah. So you think about being one or two every year. That's great. Uh, and so we, we, we draw, sometimes people have asked, where do our students come from? Um, we draw from clear up in the north, very northern end of Hardin County, clear down to Adams County, uh, into eastern Indiana, yeah. and almost to Columbus. So you think about that area. It's, it's a huge support for the, the curriculum and the standards that need to be taught at our elementary program. And, and I think at that, that is a testament too because you know we've worked very hard to make sure we address the standards and the fact that when a teacher is there this spring they'll book their group for next spring yeah. uh, because they know what we what we cover and you know this this is kind of a lighthearted way for us to for, to the public to you know share some of our yeah. story because you know, it is the everyday person yeah. that, that made the history here. Well, and it extends us, the, the, the site, into the community too. Um, you know, the, the, the site does a good job of doing lots of different activities that I think bring people out there. But sometimes, you know, you, you think, gee, I visited the farm, I've already been there. This comes into the community and brings more historical kinds of activity yeah. out there and engages people in another unique way. So, um, again, I just like that it's it's not an out there kind of thing. It's it's very um, very unique, I think, and it's very educational again, but lots of good entertainment. I think you call it edutainment. Ed edutainment, sometimes. yeah, so, that's 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 yeah. the fancy word for yeah. it. Um, and you know, we try to do things that uh, were a part of the site's history. Now, this this is more. Pick was history yeah. uh, this year, and that's okay. The site is Pick was history. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, so it's okay that we, we're doing this. Um, so, you know, in case people are wondering, it's, it's going to be Thursday, April the 18th, up on the fourth floor. And, you know, when you think about venues for programs, Doesn't if, if you've not that. been on the, four, the yeah. fourth floor of the hotel, I don't know how many people haven't yeah. been, but you can't get yeah. a better site than that. Yeah. Um, we have when we have visitors come it's always interesting to see people that are there for the first time and they, they walk into that room because it'll be in the big ballroom yeah. and they walk into that room and they just kind of look around and it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's impressive it's hard to believe uh, sometimes that you know we yeah. have you know there's no place in Miami County that's any better no, no. one year we did it we were at another site and it lost something you know doing it mm -hmm. you know away from the hotel it, it just it just wasn't quite plenty the same. of parking, easy access. It is elevator it. gets you up mm -hmm. there. So. Yeah, no, as long as you have only put eight people at a time in the yeah. elevator, we have to be careful. Don't don't <coughs> exceed eight people because yeah. you know when the elevator stalls with that ninth person, and the fire department comes to get you out of the <laughs> elevator, it loses a little bit of its yeah. allure. Uh, kind of puts a damper on the evening if yeah. you do that. So eight people at a time. Um, and the cost, I think, is fairly reasonable for what they're going to get. 
Um, if you're a member of our Friends Council, it's $25. If you're, if you're not a member, of course, we'd like to have non-members come in, it's $30. Uh, we could probably make a deal if you became a member that night. We, I was going to ask you that. We, yeah. we, 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 can, we can, can they do that? Can they yeah, come that we, we can do that. So they can get tickets in advance or they yeah. can get them that evening. Yeah, well, we prefer they get them that evening. Or, I mean, I'm in sorry, in, in advance so that we know how many chairs to set up, sure. that sort of thing. And the best way to get their tickets to reserve their spots, because we really don't do tickets generally, uh, is just call us out at the, out at the site, and that's 937-773-2522. Uh, we'd be happy to, to take their reservation. We're getting some reservations now. Some of the publicity's gotten out. Yeah. Um, we've, we've got people, you know, have, have signed up. I've got some from, from the Columbus area that yeah. have, have seen the... I was going to mention that the last couple of times. We've had them from really all around. Once the word gets out there, there are people from all around yeah, the state they, they that are, come to this. You know, because I, I think maybe we're getting known for doing the historical mm -hmm. figures. Yeah. Uh, one year we thought we'd go away from that, and that was a real disaster yes. uh, so we realize that that's what people are expecting from us they're expecting a history of some sort yeah. now last year was a little bit different yeah. I admit that it was still a great program. Um, it, it was that very, was something I'd wanted to do for years yeah, I yeah, just it great. and, and, and it the was, Mills Brothers we should mention yeah. it was the Mills Brothers and actually some descendants of yeah of yeah. the actual Mills Brothers, and, and um, it was a very, you know, I, I very good I wanted to do program. that for years, and that was just kind of fell into place. Yeah. And that's kind of the way this one fell into place, too. It's just kind of one of those things. Yeah. As I was talking to Mike about something else, mm -hmm. we got looking at schedules and, and yeah. all that sort of stuff, and Mike said, well, I'd be happy to come out. And Mike Fulham, people won't know Mike probably, but when he first went to work for OHS, or Ohio History Connection today, he did his master's in public history out of the Johnston Farm. Oh, okay. A lot of our, or some of our interpretive material that we still use today were Mike's efforts. Nice. So, you know, he's, he's kind of got a soft spot for the farm, so usually when we need yeah. something, um, he's pretty quick to say, yes, I want to do this. And, and he's been on the fourth floor, he's seen that venue, and I think he was kind of really pretty eager to do that. <laughs> Yeah. You know, if you're a performer and you think about that space, and yeah. the nice thing about that space is we can put as many people oh, yeah. in there as we want. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. I think it, I think it'll be a good evening. And, and I, the, the, the story is one that people need. It is. It's, like I said, we've all heard about the potato famine. We, we all know that, that the disaster existed, but uh, when you really hear kind of that first person account, it, it just really, personalizes it, it, it brings a whole new light to it, and then when you realize there's more than the fact that just the crops failed, there was a lot of politics and things that sure. happened, and then you look at the impact it had, um, the amount of people that left um, Ireland was significant. <laughs> I mean, they, the, the island itself, it almost didn't even survive after that. Yeah, that, that was a great immigration it was It was a massive amount, and, and families and businesses and, and um, religion, all everything changed when so many key people left. And, 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 and then people like America, places like America, got that influence. Whether they resisted or not, yeah. some great influences actually came in with those culture um, shift, and, and we benefited from it. Oh, yeah, so, and so. You know, again, you look at this area, you know, they came to work building the canals. And they brought the canal to pick mm -hmm. and they brought the canal through Miami County, yeah. and that brought our our first big boom yeah. of prosperity. So, you know, in so many ways, we owe a lot to yeah. the Irish culture, and and you know, I think there's a lot in our culture today that that we get from the Irish traditions that people maybe not even be aware of. I, I was surprised by that, and we 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 went around the whole island. Um, very consistent and, and very, um, when I say proud of their haters, I don't mean that in a bad way, like they really are proud that they overcame and they're proud of the influences, even current, that they have. Um, very friendly um, culture. I, I really, really enjoyed it over there. And um, again, the stories are fascinating. The, the music was really great. I, I wish we had some music to, well, to go along you know, with Well, I'm, I'm still, um, still was, kind of working on, I'm not making any promises I know, but point. boy, that, that it, we just really, there was not one low point in our trip mm -hmm. over there. And, and, and again, I'm, we're still reading books and still reminiscing on it. And, and, and as soon as I found out this was coming, I immediately told my wife, you're not going to believe this year's event. And she's like, sign us up. So yeah. Well, well and, you know, from, from my mother's side, you know, I've got the Irish uh, 
background mm -hmm. as well. So there's there's a little bit there. So I'm, I've got German Irish, so I'm yeah. I'm, I'm covered on both yeah. sides of Piqua. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're looking. I, I really encourage people, you know, to come out and they get to support the Johnston Farm. They get to have a good time, socialize with their neighbors. Come in a big group. Yeah. You know, we, we, in the past, we've had groups that we, you know reserve a bunch of spots uh, and I think you have a lot of fun when you do yeah. that. As Families well. could come if they wanted, yep. there's, there's nothing. No, and that's that's one of the things that we really try to do with all of our events is we really want to try to make things family friendly. I, I, I don't want a parent or a grandparent to feel, oh gosh, we can't come out there because they're going to be exposed to something yeah. that, that, it, that is a little seemly maybe or whatever. Uh, you know, we want to try to be family friendly, and I think this would be. Uh -huh. I think this would be a program that would be would be family friendly. Sometimes I, we've had, on a side note, some of the presenters go to the high school. Yeah. And present. That's not the case this no, time. No, my, my but, schedule. I was lucky to get yeah. in for that. But if one. there's a direct link to the curriculum, we've been able to yeah. negotiate that or get a grant for that to happen, and our students have benefited yeah. and loved loved them. Just I'm, the I'm same, looking so. forward to Wesley being being, yeah. <laughs> being being there on on, on I'll that. I'll have him wear his little hat. He got a special hat to when he was in there. Yeah, so, there you yeah. go. Maybe he could be our greeter. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he would love that. He, I mean, he's so reserved yeah. and quiet. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, we want. I, I hope people. You know, I hope this encourages people to come out, uh, and have a good time, and enjoy it. Maybe learn something along the yeah. line. I, I do too. I, I personally invite the, the public out there because it's. It's again, it's a great story. It's going to be very educational but very entertaining. I, I, I think you'll get wrapped up in the story and you might want to learn more later. I, I think so. And, I, and again, going back, I don't know whether people realize how much of an impact the, the Irish culture had yeah. in this part of the country. Yeah. You know, we talk a lot about as you go north of German Catholic influence, mm -hmm. but you know, you've got the Irish influence right here yeah. in Pickle. You know, think about it, they were, you know, there, there yeah. was a large enough group to build a yeah. parish. We know that my wife's um, descendant left at the time of the famine, but we don't have any documentation that says that's why, but, but we can pretty much guess. Yeah. But we found ourselves, as we learned about the, the story, and I think people will do the same, um, wondering, gosh, did she go through that? Did, did that happen to her, or is that why she yeah. left? Or, is, or what happened when she got over here? You know, she was 16 when she got over here and got married and began her family. And um, what was that like? You know, what, what did they experience? So I think people that have descendants from, from Ireland, and many of us do, um, I think they'll wonder those same things. Well, I think it may spur, you know, there's a lot of interest in the gene genealogy yes. anyway. Yeah. You know, this might get people like kind of thinking, okay, where did, where did these folks come from? Yeah. What was their story? Uh, years ago, I had, when I, was, I taught an American history class, we always did a family history. Mm -hmm. Or an Ohio history class, we always did a family history. And I had one, one young man uh, wrote about his grandfather coming through Ellis Island. Mm -hmm. and, and talking about his experience of going through Ellis yeah. Island. So, you know, the, you get all, you know, maybe find out more about your, about your yeah. family. May, of course, maybe you'll find out something you don't want to know about your family. Yeah. Uh, you, you've always, I guess you run that risk too. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope it spurs a lot of interest. I, you know, I encourage people to, to be a part of that. Again, it's uh, Thursday, April the 18th, 7.30, out on the fourth floor of the hotel. And it does support the Johnston Farm. It goes right into our our program budget yes. uh, each uh, for for the season. And to get tickets, all they need to do is call us seven seven three two five two two. All right. I hope you join us.